वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वील स्टडी एम एस सी फाइनल केमिस्ट्री पेपर फर्स्ट यूनिट फोटो केमिस्ट्री वॉट इज फोटो केमिस्ट्री फोटो केमिस्ट्री इज द स्टडी ऑफ रिएक्शन दैट आर ब्रॉट अबाउट बाई द एक्शन ऑफ विजिबल और अल्ट्रा वायलेट लाइट One of the most common examples of photochemical reactions is the process of photosynthesis in the plants by means of sunlight. The carbohydrates obtained form the basis of life on our planet. Why do we need to study photochemistry? We study photochemistry because of its vast applications. one of the applications we have seen photochemistry also displays its importance in the synthesis of some important compounds which was not possible with dark reactions without radiations examples are vitamin d insecticides halogenated aromatics etc photography and lithography printing work on the principle of photopolymerization solar energy conversion and storage systems are being worked out based on the principles of photochemistry there are many more important applications which we will be discussing later now let us study principles of photochemistry there are two methods of introducing energy in a system first is by increasing the reaction temperature and second involves the absorption of electromagnetic radiation in the visible or uv region let us study them one by one a certain amount of energy known as activation energy is supplied to molecules in order to bring about a chemical transformation sometimes activation energy requirements are very low and molecules undergo spontaneous transformations even at room temperature but in most of the cases additional energy is supplied to the molecules before they undergo a chemical change and very commonly energy is supplied by increasing the reaction temperature which results in an energy distribution in such a way that most molecules present in the system have about the same amount of energy at a given temperature molecules which have acquired sufficient energy react a second method of introducing energy in a system involves the absorption of electromagnetic radiation in the visible or ultraviolet region unlike thermal conditions the absorption of light excites an individual molecule to an excited electronic state without immediately affecting the surrounding molecules this selective excitation of individual molecules is a unique character of photochemical reactions the chemistry of excited molecules differs from the chemistry of those in the ground state and so it is often possible to change the course of a reaction by activating the reactants by light rather than by heat the basic relationships of energy of radiation to frequency and wavelength are given by the expressions e is equal to h nu nu is equal to c upon lambda E is equal to energy per quantum at x Planck 
constant, nu is frequency of radiation, lambda is wavelength, c is velocity of light. From equation 2, frequency and wavelength are inversely related and so radiations of shorter wavelength should contain more energy. The energy absorbed per mole at a specific wavelength may be readily calculated from the equation E is equal to nh nu is equal to nh c upon lambda. So n is Avogadro's number. Light in the visible and UV region is sufficient energy to cover the range of chemical bond energies and is often able to induce chemical changes by exciting molecules to higher electronic states. The energy of visible light varies from 38 kilocalorie per mole to 71 kilocalorie per mole, whereas UV light is still more effective as it provides energy up to 143 kilocalorie per mole. Let us study some definitions. Ground state, the lowest energy, electronic, vibrational or rotational state of an atom, molecule or ion. Excited state, a state of an atom, molecule, when the species has absorbed energy and become excited to a higher energy state as compared with the ground state. Electronic transition In an atom or molecule, the electrons have certain allowed energies only. If an electron passes from one orbital to another, an electronic transition occurs and there is emission or absorption of energy corresponding to the difference in energy of the two orbitals. Now let us study electronic excitation. An orbital can accommodate a maximum of two electrons. A combination of two atomic orbitals to form a bond produces two molecular orbitals, antibonding and bonding. One of these is a low energy orbital, bonding orbital and accommodates both the electrons in the ground state of the molecule. The other orbital, antibonding orbital has higher energy than either of the atomic orbitals and it remains vacant in the ground state. Now let us have a look at the figure. Relative energies of atomic and molecular orbitals are shown. Two atomic orbitals are there, each having one electron. By the combination of these two atomic orbital, two molecular orbitals are formed. One is bonding, other is antibonding. Bonding orbital is of lower energy and so both the electrons are there in the bonding, electron, bonding orbital in the ground state. An antibonding orbital is of higher energy and it remains vacant in the ground state. Here in this figure, you can see bonding and antibonding molecular orbitals. Pi orbital, pi star orbital, sigma orbital and sigma star orbital. The absorption of light energy by molecules in the visible and UV region involves 
promotion of an electron from the bonding orbital to the corresponding antibonding orbital the antibonding orbitals corresponding to sigma and pi bonds are called sigma star and pi star respectively the shapes of sigma sigma star pi and pi star orbitals are shown in the figure we have seen it just now on the previous slide as the non bonding electrons in are not involved in the bond formation there are no anti bonding orbitals corresponding to them excitation promotes a non bonding electron either to a sigma star or a pi star now let us study various types of excitation there are four types of excitation found in most of the organic molecules they are sigma sigma star n sigma star pi pi star n pi star the energy is required for sigma sigma star and n sigma star transitions are usually very high requiring a wavelength of far less than 200 nm although photochemical excitation may be effected using such light this is relatively uncommon because strong absorption by atmospheric oxygen below 200 nm creates complications and hence irradiation must be done in vacuum the n pi star and pi pi star transitions have lower energy requirements and occur at longer wavelengths usually well within the region of the commercial ultraviolet lamps both types may be illustrated with a saturated aldehyde or ketone which absorbs at two wavelengths one around 285 nm and the other around 180 nm the absorption at 285 nm is due to the excitation of an electron from the non bonding orbital n to the lowest unoccupied pi anti bonding orbital pi star and since this transition requires less energy than other electronic transitions sigma sigma star pi pi star etc it occurs at the highest wavelength the other absorption around 180 nm is due to the promotion of an electron from the pi bonding orbital to the pi star anti bonding orbital it requires more energy than the n pi star transition so the first one is sigma sigma star alkenes contain only sigma bonds they do not have pi or n electrons in their molecules therefore they can be excited in this way n sigma star oxygen and nitrogen atoms of alcohols amines ethers etc contain unused lone pair of electrons n hence they can be excited in this way pi pi star compounds of alkenes ketones aldehydes and esters etc having unsaturated pi bonds consist of pi electrons therefore they can be excited in this manner n pi star aldehydes ketones esters etc have pi electrons as well as unused lone pair of n electrons they can undergo n pi star excitation as well as above 
थ्री इन द फिगर यू कैन सी डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक एक्साइटेशंस आउट ऑफ द फोर एक्साइटेशंस सिग्मा सिग्मा स्टार एक्साइटेशन रिक्वायर्स द लाइट ऑफ हाईएस्ट एनर्जी फॉलोड बाय एन सिग्मा स्टार पाई पाई स्टार एन पाई स्टार so we can say that sigma sigma star requires highest energy then comes n sigma star then comes pi pi star and then comes n pi star just have a look at the figure and here is an example of pi pi star transition in buta dyne consider the case of buta dyne in this case pi pi star transition takes place see the figure in the ground state there are two electrons in the pi bonding orbital on absorption of radiation one of these is excited to pi star orbital thanks